Yes, quarter two, quarter to finish, quarter to ten nearly. But in the meantime, before that, we have special guest as promised. Welcome to the show, B.B. Baskin, how are you? Ah, oh, thank you very much indeed. I'm very well, thank you, Willie. And lovely to be on the show. Thank you so much for taking the call. Um, in a kind of a wet and a cold cork this morning. It is, but you see, I love the cold because although I'm Irish, I did spend 15 years in tropical countries in India where it was 30 degrees Celsius every day. So this for me is a treat. I cannot complain about the cold. Right, so you were immersed in sunshine. Yeah, it's. Um, I've been following your journey there, and it's it's a fascinating one. There's a book and there's a film. There's everything in there, really, isn't there? <laughs> well, I suppose I do shift around a bit. Uh, I'm the sort of person that I suppose, you know, I follow my dream. Doesn't always work out according to plan, but I do shop and shop around and shift around, and and it just adds a lovely excitement to life that I really value. Ah, uh, that's that's it. Yeah, no, it's um, you made you made a success, a big success in India, really, didn't you? You've from yeah, I, I went there uh, really for three weeks uh, on a holiday, and I was a bit bored with life at the time, and I was looking for something new, and I thought I might write a book as we often do think and, and rarely complete it, and I just stayed then for six months, and it grew and grew and. I bought an old building to put a roof over my head, as my mum might have called it, um, and then I turned it into a heritage hotel, and indeed, that little place was written up in the Sunday Times of London as one of the ten best sleeps in India. But of course, we're not that good, but it was a lovely compliment. So I suppose, yeah, you could say it worked out, yep, no. very happy days. Yeah, well done you, yeah, and, and all of that in complete opposite to what you were doing before that. It was, it was. You know, I started off uh, writing articles on a freelance basis um, for newspapers and magazines and that sort of thing, and then I wound up doing a little spot on radio here in Ireland, and out of that I went into television, and after two years presenting, co-presenting actually, a magazine program, I then got a show of my own. And in fact, although I only thought of it in latter years, I was the first woman in Ireland to have a chat show of her own on television. So I suppose that wasn't bad going. That is right, and we're all big fans of that, the BB show. I was, <laughs> yeah, I was even getting messages on Facebook yesterday from... Um, ah! From Dublin, um, John Brennan messaged on Facebook. Yeah, I, t I believe there was a singer... Angel from Dublin was a guest on your show many times, he was telling me. And I'm not too sure. I, I saw that myself. I'm, I'm thinking I have a picture. You see, I've been gone for 20 years. So we're talking about pre-20 years ago. I have a blonde-haired girl in my mind. Yeah. Like that, that's but I'm not too sure. That's it, yeah. Oh, no, we do we do know Angel. She's um, a fabulous singer there based in Kildare. Um, yeah, but one one of my favourite memories from your show was the... Um, I, I actually tagged you in it recently. It was the Johnny McAvoy show that you did. Oh, what a lovely man. Absolutely lovely. He is a, a real gentleman, isn't he? And what I, the funniest part of that episode was the um, where he was working in Cleary's and you... As, oh. a, as a window dresser, and you kind of exposed it to us. None of us knew before that, but fair play. <laughs> wow, I didn't know that at all. That's news to me. But, you know, a lot of those great singers of that generation, they did other jobs before they became famous as singers. Uh, Christy Moore, for example, he worked in the bank. And then way back in the day, it must have been the 80s, there was a bank strike in Ireland, and so, you know, he had no job. Uh, and it was in that way that he left the bank and became this wonderful artist that he is today. That so they all have their histories, yeah. They do, yeah. But that was, um, it's it's lovely to get the, the full picture and the background to somebody, isn't it? It is. And I, uh, I have a friend here in Cork who's a great fan of Van Morrison. And even though he's a great fan, he didn't know that Van Morrison long ago used to be a window cleaner. Oh, right. That's what he was before he became famous as an artist, yeah. 
Fascinating, yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, oh, even last night I was watching um, the background to Brendan O'Brien, a famous show, oh. show band man here in Cork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of, I guess, lost in time sometimes, I goes back. <laughs> uh, well, why not? Why not? Nothing wrong with that. Exactly. But you have, um, I've been following you there, as you know, and yeah, things are looking bright for BB in the world of blogging and media. Yeah, yeah. I'm now doing some blogs starting next week, actually, with the Cork Convention Bureau here in, in the city, and that's the... Uh, that's a company that brings big conferences into hotels and venues and contributes a lot of that way to the local economy. And, of course, I blog about anything. I just love writing. And I'm also doing a little spot for the Irish Times that nobody knows about yet, apart from yourself, Willie. I'm very interested in food, and I've been invited by the Irish Times to do a little piece on South Indian food. Uh, so that will be coming up sometime later. Uh, my deadline is about two weeks' time. Yeah, so I'm getting back into the old writing thing, and I love that. Be it in blog form or articles for newspapers, I don't mind which. I just love writing. Yeah, well, fair play to you. Yeah, it's um, it's great to see you back on our screens as well in recent times. You're <laughs> you're do you're you're fresh on people's minds at the moment, which is we'd love to see a bit more of that happen. Oh, that's very kind. But who knows? Who knows? Um, yeah, no big deal there at the moment. Don't know if it'll ever happen. But doing a few little bits now that have come up in the last week, ever since I was on the Late Late Show. So, as you called it there, a journey. Here I go again. Another journey, Willie. That's me. That's it. And, you know, you, you accredit boredom to change, but I've never seen anybody so content in themselves. Oh, really? It's, yeah, it's... <laughs> Yeah, I watched your video of the the last public talk. It's the video on your Facebook page. Ah. It's the public address you gave with the presentation. And you spoke of a lovely slideshow on the pool in India and how it came about. And oh, yes, that's the TEDx talk. Is that the one? That's the one, Just yeah. Just me talking away. Yeah, yeah, and the pool in India where it was a bit of a rough land. And yeah. I thought, what will I do with that? I so you saw that. My goodness, you do your research well, don't you? Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's borderline stalking, but we won't mention that. We won't go there. <laughs> oh, no, doesn't feel like that at all. Doesn't feel. It feels like a great support and everything very positive. Yeah, yeah, I did that talk all right, um, and I did talk about all the changes that we can go through in our life if we want to. And I just happen to like change and. You know, sometimes you get a bit scared, maybe even, but other times it's just so very exciting. Yeah, it was really very inspiring, that that speech. So I do hope to catch up with you soon, in person, as they say. Oh, that'd be lovely. Yeah, like we'll say hello to our friend there in Cork, and Dolly Spillane. Oh, yes. indeed. What a great woman that is. Yeah, she is. She's fantastic and does great work in, in the girls' club in Cork. And she does indeed with girls who have cancer and she provides them with all sorts of mentoring and counselling and wigs, you know, after they do the chemo and they lose their hair. That's it. She's a great lady. And I believe you're very involved in that as well, Willie. It's a great thing you do. I am. I'm a volunteer with the Girls Club. I've been there from day one. It, it is. It's It's very humbling. It is to the realities yeah. of the, you know, as Anne would yeah. put it in her own words, it, it affects families. It's not just individuals, you know. Yeah, good point. Very good point. It's a great thing to do. But anyway, back to yourself, BB. Um, anything exciting that you want to share with us before we finish up? Well, it's just that I feel I'm starting another whole new phase of my life. You know, hasn't been twenty years away. Five in the UK, followed by fifteen in India. Uh, I'm now back in Ireland and trying to settle in and I bought a house and trying to make it a home. I'm now doing various bits of work, having got used to social media. I was a latecomer to Twitter and Facebook and all that stuff and now I absolutely adore it. And uh, not only am I blogging for 
the Cork Convention Bureau and a couple of other places. I'm also managing Twitter accounts for small companies down here in Cork. So it's a whole new journey again. And that's the great thing about life. Thank God we're alive. You never know what's around the corner. That is true. Nicely put and very motivational. I tell you, you you're, you're, um, I call you my fairy godmother on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> you have just boosted my, I don't know, I was dabbling in it for a long time, but never getting anywhere, if you know what I mean. So it's, it's all well, about... I remember, the, I remember the time, Willie, we connected on Twitter, and I saw your excitement because I was only saying it to a friend of mine the other night, I think you wrote back to me on Twitter and said, oh my goodness, I've just got a hundred engagements today that I never expected. It was something massive. That's right, yeah, that, that happened yeah. overnight. I said, oh Jenny, what's happening? <laughs> it's all, and it was all done to yourself. <laughs> uh, so sure. there, there's proof that you know what you're doing. Well, uh, why not pass it on, I say, you know? The world's a big place. There's loads of space in it for all of us with different opinions. And if you can do a good turn, pass it on to somebody else. Because there are loads of people out there who do the good turns to me. So, you know, it's just a simple matter of logic, really. Exactly. And I just want to say, long may I continue and continued success to yourself, baby. We've, ah. we've come to a time run out again, unfortunately. But we'll talk okay. to you again soon, please, God. Come back and All join right. us. Thank you, Willie. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much, baby. You're, you're a star. Okay. Thank you.